I'm Tiffany, and this is from Momma's Kitchen. This is where I get to share with you the old-fashioned recipes and skills that I learned from my Momma in her kitchen. Today is a fun and exciting day because we are making cookies. We're going to make Granny Audrey's sugar cookies. This is Justin's great-grandmother. Hang on, let me grab the recipe. I'll show you. I actually have this piece of paper here. It's got a picture of her making the cookies and has her recipe on it. That's what we're gonna make today. These are excellent cut out cookies. So for all the holidays, when you wanna use the cookie cutters to make the cute shapes, birthday parties, those kinds of things, just to enjoy a good sugar cookie, this is a great recipe for that. The big kids are out helping Justin with the chicken coop. They're working on getting that leveled out and start building on that. So I think what I'm gonna do, I've got the little ones in here with me, and I'm sure Wyatt will wanna help mix. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the dough ready so that I can chill it in the refrigerator. And then once they come in, we can roll them out, cut our cookies, bake them. And then once they cool, they can decorate them. I think what I'm gonna do is I have some store-bought icing and I'll probably just let them use that on them today. You could do a royal icing. You could sprinkle them with sugar before you bake them, like colored sugar crystals. And maybe we'll do some of that as well, but I do have some store-bought icing, so we may let them decorate with that once we get done baking them. So let's get our dough together. So I've got about two pounds of flour or so in this bowl. It's not so much about the amount of flour as the way that we're going to mix it because we're just gonna pull flour in until we have a dough that's a consistency that we're looking for. So I'm taking the back of my knuckles and just pressing in and making a bowl so I can add my other ingredients right in the middle. I'm gonna add one egg, two cups of sugar, a half a cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one stick of softened butter. Wash them good so you can help, okay? Yes. Hang on just a second. One egg. Says to use your hands, so clean hands. You can kind of pull your flour in a little bit at a time. Yes, darling. Is that a good grape? You gonna make some cookies? Cookies. Granny Audrey's cookies? Can you say Granny Audrey? Bring it over here. So I did not use all that flour in my bowl. I just pulled it in from the sides a little at a time until my dough was formed. Now I can use the rest of that flour for something else. As long as you're just adding, if you make that well in the middle and you're just pulling a little bit at a time, your flour stays very clean. So I can use the rest of that flour if I want to make some more cookies or biscuits or whatever I want to do with it. Now I'm going to wrap this up and put it in the refrigerator. Let it chill. And then once the kids come in, we'll roll some cookies out. I think I may go ahead and split this into two. 
That way when it does come time to roll it, it'll be a little bit easier. The little ones are over there watching Mickey Mouse. This is one of those recipes where like, I can't tell you exactly how much flour I used. A lot of the, the way the older generation did these kind of cookies and biscuits was they just had that big bowl of flour, put their other ingredients in that well they made in the middle and pulled in the flour until they had their dough. Because when you do that, it leaves the extra flour on the side clean and you can use it the next time. Uh, Justin talks about how Granny Audrey used to have a big bowl and every time she went to make biscuits or something she just made her well and her flour, mixed everything together, covered her flour back up and the next time pulled it out again. So I can't tell you exactly how much flour I used but I do think it's really fun to learn how to bake, especially with baking because we, you have always kind of I guess a lot of people here, you have to be so precise with your baking. And in a lot of senses, you do. But it wasn't always that way. They used to just mix it until it was like they knew it needed to be. And so sometimes it's just, it's just fun to do it that way. And don't be intimidated by it. It may actually be a little bit easier than you expect. And even if you mess up, as long as you're learning in the process, just try again and you'll get it. And then once you do, it'll be something that's really exciting to say, hey, I can do it this way. Just like Granny Audrey in that picture that I showed you standing over that bowl, mixing it in. Standing there doing that, that that way, it makes me feel connected with her. Granny's not been here with us for several years now, but making these cookies the way that she always did, it just helps us feel close to her and brings a lot of really sweet memories. And she was Justin's granny, uh, but she was mine too. Justin and I, we have been together since I was in middle school. And so I have a lot of sweet memories with his granny as well. Our daughter is named after her. So doing it like she did is very special to me. I think it's so important to pass on these recipes because just like with Granny Audrey, she didn't meet most of my children. Most of my children were not able to meet her. But we have her recipe that's very special and now my children can have their hands on this cookie dough that's just like Granny Audrey would have made it. They can see the pictures of her making it and they can carry that on. It's really, really special to me and one of the reasons why I just love good family recipes. Start the traditions, even if that's not something that you've done in the past with your family. Uh, even if recipes aren't something that your family has always passed down, it can start with you. We're about to start rolling out and cutting out and baking these cookies. Now, let me tell you, you wanna put some flour down when you roll them out. You wanna roll them out pretty thin. I think it actually says an eighth of an inch on her recipe. And then we're gonna cut them out with cookie cutters. We're gonna bake them at 400 for about 15 minutes. Just kinda of, gotta kind of keep an eye on them. And there are several different ways you can decorate these. So what we're doing today is we're gonna put some icing on them after they cool and let the kids decorate them that way. But you can also take sanding sugar or you can just take regular sugar and mix a little food coloring in it and you can actually press that into it before you bake them. There's a lot of great ways that you can decorate sugar cookies. You can make royal icing and dip them in it or pop that on there. All kinds of things you can do. But what we typically do is just use some icing, let the kids spread it on put some sprinkles on it or however they want to do it, color the icing. We'll see exactly what they want to do, but we'll do that after they cool. There's a lot of ways that you can bake them though. All right, oven needs to be preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll cut out our cookies. Please. What do you got on your nose? <laughs> Can I do a star? Yeah. Okay. There you go. 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 Go
Christmas tree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll be this. It could be a big cookie. Nobody's ever been mad at a big cookie. No, I just say like we won't get as many. It's okay. We'll roll it back out, and we've got a whole other thing right there. You can put it on there. That one. We'll put it over here on this one. Okay, we'll put it right there. Good job, buddy. Uh oh. Well, you may fine. have to use a spatula and. It didn't come out. Give me that what big this star. One? This one? Yeah, I want to. I want to do a big one. All right, do them as close as you can to the edge I'm so that you can one. get more. To the edge, like... Right here. Put it right there. Yeah, there you go. Push down. No, go. Go. <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank like it. Good job. Oh, you destroyed it. <laughs> Good yeah. job, Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll go do that for one of them. No, I'll put the other one in the fridge. We're going to cook these and then we can. Yeah. Good, Good job, my man. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, bud. Yeah. Pull the no. little pieces away from the edge. For the thickness that we got our cookies, we were able to roll ours out pretty thin. It, they only had to bake at 400 for about 8 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. We're going to let them cool. We only did half of our dough. We've got the other half in the refrigerator still. We'll do that later, but we're going to let these cool. Then the kids can put some icing on them and decorate them. But see how well they keep their shape? They keep their shape very well. Some little snowmen and trees and stars and candy canes. What you doing? A snowman? You're gonna do which one do you want? The snowflake or the snowflake? You can see. Just start right. Just start putting it on there, and you'll be able to. I already have one out for you. Wait, Elsie. I know. Stop. Yeah. You're doing good. Look at it. Some sprinkles on it. Can you even it's tell awesome. what that is? Can you even tell what that is? Yeah. Even? You couldn't tell what it was in the beginning. Sprinkle it. Years old. My mommy told me I couldn't go to the party. <laughs> How many can we eat at one time? Five. Food. We need to take the sprinkles away from Hudson. <laughs> Hudson has a little sprinkle privilege. I'm done with my cookie. Yeah, I see that. Okay, sit it over on the, take it off of your plate and sit it up back on the cookie sheet and you can do another one. Okay. It's silver and the go. No, Look at all the beautiful <laughs> cookies. Y'all are doing such a good job. And they taste delicious. Have y'all had one yet? No. I had one. It's very good. These are all beautiful, it's kiddos. You can't even tell what this is no more because... Y'all are doing a great job. I like these three. I think these sprinkles are my favorite. The colorful ones. Jinx, that's mine. Just kidding. Just all. Good job. 